y'all. Thank you so much for watching this Angel League TV where we talk about everything and what I mean everything. I mean, finally, a pregnancy update. A book of people have been asking me, um, are you going to do an update on a pregnancy? Are you going to do an update on a baby? And I just haven't. The uh, main reason why I haven't since my very last, uh, well, my first pregnancy update, I think I was probably like six weeks at that time. Um, but the reason why I wasn't like doing the updates and stuff um, as frequent back then is because I was so early. I was so sick all the freaking time. Y'all, I was sick as hell. I didn't feel like doing nothing. I was even on um, fucking maternity leave from work for like two months, two and a half months because of my sickness. And I didn't even want to have a baby yet. So, um, yeah, that's how bad it was. Like... When I say I was sick as hell, I was sick as hell. But, no worries. Uh, I'm feeling much, much better now. I'm a lot further along. My pregnancy is crazy. I can't believe, like, I, me thinking about it and talking about it just make me think, like, what the fuck? I just, like, I'm really 17 weeks pregnant right now. <laughs> so, um, let's just go ahead and get into the update. <coughs> By the way, I'm reading from my phone right here because uh, I bitch have to make some notes, okay? Um, I'm 17 weeks right now. I wanted to read y'all the little baby center app thingy that I have where it like tells you like your progress and stuff like that. At 17 weeks, my baby is the size of a turnip. If you don't know what the turnip look like, I'm gonna put it right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, my baby is the size of a turnip. Basically, they're just saying that um, baby should weigh about five ounces at this point. Um, and the baby is about five inches long from head to bottom and the baby can move um, his or her joints and sweat glands are starting to develop and stuff like that. I am feeling movement now which is crazy y'all. I thought I would never feel movement because I could have swore my last pregnancy with my son that I felt movement a lot sooner but I don't know. Um, I couldn't remember but I started feeling movement for the first time at about 15 weeks and y'all I had posted on Facebook that it felt like a roach was like in my uterus and trying to like get out because it really really felt like really really weird because maybe it was really small I mean it's still small at this point too still but um, it was even a lot smaller at 15 weeks it felt really weird and um, now at this point girl why are these kicks like strong as hell right now as if I'm like 30 weeks pregnant like I'll be like laying down on my back watching tv or doing whatever or just finish eating i notice every time um after i finish eating eating the baby will move a lot like more after i finish eating and stuff like that but y'all this these strong kicks are like what like for real i don't even remember these kicks being that strong with my other pregnancies but um yeah this baby is strong as hell okay Also, another thing that I have been dealing with are Braxton Hicks contractions. Now, if you don't know what Braxton Hicks contractions are, um, long story short, they're like practice contractions. Like, they're not actually um, labor contractions, but they're like practice contractions. And I don't recall me having these contractions so soon, like, with my other practices. Like, I've never... Like, I don't know. I probably did, but I really, honestly, I don't re recall having these contractions so soon, honestly. Uh, I could probably put money on it. So, whenever I started having those contractions at about 15 weeks, I kind of, like, freaked out because, like, it never happened. And the fact that it was so, excuse me, the fact that it was so soon, I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is going on in my uterus? Like, a bitch is only 15 weeks at this point because that's when it started at 15 weeks. I'm like, girl, uh, do I need to go to the hospital or what? <laughs> But, um, they weren't too, too painful. It's basically, like, whenever I had the contractions, no one ever knew what they was or how they felt. It felt like my, my well, I can't say my whole stomach because my uterus haven't, haven't reached all the way up to my stomach as of yet. My uterus is still kind of, like, stopping at my pelvic, pelvic bone or something like that. So, um, it's like, at my lower stomach where my uterus is, it gets really, really hard and really, really puffy. For like a couple of seconds and it's like really really tight and it kind of feel like a, a cramp like, like a menstrual cramp but like a really really strong menstrual cramp menstrual cramp and um yeah girl i was just i was like freaking out whenever it first started happening but like whenever i noticed that it it was just like every now and then i still get them every day now like honestly since i've been been getting the um contractions every single day since i've been 15 weeks and now i'm 17 weeks in one day and i've been getting them I'm, uh, i actually 
got the doctor's appointment which i'm gonna talk about in a little bit um tomorrow so um yeah i'm gonna ask my doctor i'm like uh doc what's good because uh this ain't i ain't used to this <laughs> so early also another thing that i have been experiencing a lot are headaches now before i got pregnant i always would get headaches like always for I, I never understood why um actually right before i found out i was pregnant i went to the doctor and um you know told my primary care that i was uh, my primary care told my primary uh, physician that i was having a lot of headaches really really frequently and it's been like that honestly since i had my son like after i had my son i've been like dealing with headaches like like really really bad headaches like once i get it it's like hard for it to go away and tylenol don't really help like I, I, and if it does help it's because i didn't took probably like four tylenols like literally y'all it take like four tylenols four extra strength tylenols okay um in order for it to work but um yeah i've been dealing with headaches lately i haven't really been having them as much as i had them like two weeks ago um but i have been dealing with headaches a lot i googled it and they said like if you dealt with headaches like before your pregnancy nine times out of, nine times out of ten you're either gonna see your headaches completely disappear um in your pregnancy or they're gonna increase so in my case they kind of i can't really say they increase in because it's like off and on like right now i don't have a headache i think like well yesterday i got a headache because y'all <laughs> A bitch started work again, okay? And I was arguing back and forth with one of these ladies, like, girl, she pissed me the fuck off. Another thing are my lips been peeling, like, like, bad, like, I don't know why. Um, Gabe always, Gabe, which is baby Z and he always like, you need to drink water, which is true or whatever. I really don't drink enough water. But, it's just like, even whenever I do drink water, it don't fucking help. Like, my lips been peeling, like, really, really bad. And I honestly haven't been, like, putting anything on it, like... Carmax or anything like that. I just say fuck it and just keep licking my lips <laughs> But um, I don't think it will work before move. I had that same problem and Me putting like uh, I think I put Burt's B uh, if That's how you pronounce the shit. I put that on my lips and it still wasn't fucking working like like my lips are cracked and Dry right now, but I got the fucking lipstick on so I can't fucking lick my lips. Um, I've also been tired a lot which is per usual um, not as tired as I was in the first trimester because y'all that's another reason why I like the videos wasn't really coming out there like that because the bitch been tired like the fuck I'm pregnant I'm tired as fuck <laughs> so um yeah I've been really really tired but um I have to take a nap y'all like it don't matter what we doing like I have to take a nap the only time I don't take a nap is if for whatever reason we've been out all day and then by the time we get home it's time to go to bed anyway but I noticed that I, I, my body requires a fucking nap now. Like, a bitch gotta take naps now. Like, what the fuck? I never had to take naps, like, ever. But a bitch be tired and I be needing to take my nap. Like, an old person. Like, uh, what time it is? Okay, it's time for my nap. I've been eating a lot, again, per usual. But I put this in my symptoms because I don't remember eating as much as I eat now with any of my other pregnancies. And my last son was a big ass baby. His ass still kind of big. You feel me? Mm, I don't know if it was the breast milk because I breastfed him for 19 months. I don't know what it was or, or is, but he's still big as hell. And then whenever <laughs> I gave birth to him, he was 8 pounds and 2 ounces. My daughter, however, was my smallest baby. Um, she was 6 pounds and 12 ounces. But, girl, um, I be eating like crazy. <laughs> like, Gabe told me the other day, he was like, every time I look up, your ass is eating. And I'll be like... <laughs> okay and <laughs> like i am a fat ass like I'm, I'm officially a part of the fat ass group because well i don't think it's a group but if it was a group i'm a part of that motherfucking group because i bitch be hungry like all i want to do is eat and then immediately after i eat i get so tired <laughs> like every time i eat i gotta take a nap my mood kind of been like bitchy like in the, in the first trimester my mood was really really bitchy because i was sick all the time and i didn't want to be bothered like bitch i'm nauseous i feel like i'm gonna throw up in your face like don't talk to me <laughs> now my mood mood is a little bit better however i still don't play that shit like i still get irritated really really fast um gabe he's really really playful at times so i try to not be such a bitch to him but sometimes i just be like my nigga chill the fuck out like i this is not to the day like it's not the day <laughs> but um yeah i've been really moody also my dreams y'all i have never dreamt 
if that's the right way to say it, dreamt or dreamed. I don't know. One of the two, I have never dreamed so much ever in my life. Like before I got pregnant, I hardly ever dreamed. And if I did dream, it was something significant to where I like, I remember it because I don't really dream that much to begin with. Girl, now that I'm pregnant, I bitch dream every single night. Like I get up multiple times of the night to go use the bathroom because my you my bladder just can't hold this no more because I'm pregnant. <laughs> so I get up like five times a night to go pee and I have five different dreams. Like honestly, like last night I had a dream I was in jail. Like girl, the fuck what you doing in jail? What the fuck you do? Like <laughs> I really had a dream that I was in jail and I'd be so relieved whenever I wake up. Like I'll be having all types of dreams, like dreams about my kids getting taken away like somebody taking my kids away and i gotta go find them it'd be it'd be like a movie honestly like truly my like, dreams be like a movie and then i'll wake up and i'll be like damn bitch you dreamed again <laughs> like i could wake up from one dream to go pee go back to sleep and then my mom looking at end up having another dream like when is it gonna stop <laughs> so i told uh i told gabe one night i was like I don't want to go to sleep no more. Like, I'm tired of sleeping because every time I sleep, I have a bad dream. Like, I had a dream that I got shot in my chest by my cousin. I just be having all types of dumbass dreams, y'all. It's just ridiculous. Like, I've never dreamt or dreamed that much ever in my life before. And I assume it's because of the pregnancy or whatever. But, girl, I'm tired of dreaming. Like, I don't want to dream no more. I just want to sleep. Um, just to wrap it up, um, I am going to the doctor tomorrow. I was going to wait to do this video until tomorrow because I know the gender, but I'm not going to tell y'all. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell y'all until probably uh, this weekend. But um, yeah, I know the gender. I'm going to go back tomorrow. I actually been knowing the gender for a long time. I didn't want to know the gender because I wanted to have a gender reveal party. Y'all, the way it happened. Basically, I was at the doctor this particular uh, day. Gabe wasn't with me at my doctor's appointment. Um, he had to, I think he was at school or something like that because he, you know, he goes to college and stuff. Um, he went back to school after he got out the Navy. He went to school. So, um, y'all, I went to the doctor and I've been having to get ultrasounds a lot because in the beginning of my pregnancy, I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I did my first pregnancy update that like, I had fluid. On the side of my uh, amniotic sac, that's completely going by the way. Um, but I've been having ultrasounds every single time I go to my appointment because whenever um, I would go, I would be so early that they can't actually hear the heartbeat with the, the little Doppler that they normally would use. Now I'm sure they can hear the heartbeat whenever I go because I'm a lot further along. But they would do my ultrasound just to hear the heartbeat and stuff like that. And so the ultrasound lady, she's really, really nice, sweet lady. However, okay. <laughs> She was just like, what do, you, what do you want? You want a girl or a boy? I'm like, oh, we want a boy and this and that because we do want a boy. And I was already looking at the ultrasound whenever she was doing ultrasound at the time. So I know, you know, how she look when it looks like, you know what I'm saying? I know if, how it look if it's a girl. I know how it look if it's a motherfucking boy. So I was looking and all I see was, was ass, okay? <laughs> all I saw was my baby ass and I saw what I saw in between the legs. I'm not going to say tell y'all if I didn't see anything. I'm not going to tell y'all if I did see anything because I want to do a separate video revealing my gender. Um, my closest friends and Gabe knows now. I just recently told him that... Uh, that I found out the gender because I found this out like in the beginning the beginning of December. But being that the it was the surprise was spoiled for me, I didn't want to spoil it from him either. So I was like, no way, we still gonna have the gender reveal party. But I'm just gonna happen to know, and it's gonna more be it's gonna be more for him than for me since you know I already know. So a couple of days ago, I just realized because I was looking at my calendar and how stuff was gonna be, and I was like, we ain't gonna have time to no motherfucking gender reveal party. And I was talking to Gabe about it, and he was like, yeah, you're right, or whatever. And then <laughs> I was like, how would you feel if I told you I knew the gender this whole time? And y'all, he been telling me for like the longest. Like for some reason, I'm getting into this because I'm gonna do a separate video on this, but I'm about to wrap it up real quick. Um, but whenever I found out accidentally, like the same day I accidentally found out the gender, like he has never asked me, you know, oh, do you know the gender? Because it was so early, so I didn't expect him to fucking ask me about it, girl. Why he asked me about it? And I had to lie. I had to lie, and he was like, "You better not be lying to me." You better not be lying to me. And I'm like, babe, no, I don't know it. 
I felt so fucking bad. I hate lying. Like, I don't know. That was the only lie that I've ever told him besides my age. My age whenever I told him I was 13, but I was really 12, about to make 13. But he thought I was 13, about to make 14. But that's another story. Um, <laughs> other than that, I've never lied to him. And I felt so fucking bad, y'all. Like, I, I do not like lying. But I really, really wanted it to be a surprise for him. Like, I didn't want to necessarily spoil it for him just because it was spoiled for me, you know? But I told him, I also recorded his reaction, y'all. I'm going to make a separate video and stuff like that so y'all can see that once I do finally re reveal the gender. But yeah, I'm not going to do the gender reveal part. I'm only going to um do my baby shower, which probably will be in May, like the beginning of May. Because I'm due June 24th. So probably be gonna, it's going to be like the beginning. Yeah, life is good, y'all. Uh, we just recently moved, as y'all can see, because I'm not in the same area that I was before. Um, but yeah, we just recently moved. I love our new place. Um, I'm good. I'm feeling good. You know, besides just being extra hungry and extra tired all the time. I gotta cook after this. Damn, I do not feel like fucking cooking. But it's probably not gonna take that long. So I'm about to cook meatloaf tonight. Yeah, I'm cooking meatloaf tonight. And I'm, I'm probably throw some macaroni with it. Baby is asleep right now. So, he ain't gonna want to eat right now anyway. But, yeah, I gotta cook tonight after these videos. The fuck? <laughs> but, I just uploaded a video just now, um, like, a couple hours, like, two hours ago. So, y'all are, y'all good until I decide to edit this video. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. I will do another update, like, as to what happened in my appointment tomorrow. Oh, I wanna show y'all my belly really quick. Oh, shit, my bad. By the way, I'm gonna fix this. I wanna like do something really, really nice and cute with this, but since we just moved and I haven't had a chance to like decorate my little office space slash recording area yet, it's just gonna be like this for right now. Okay, but um, yeah, this is the picture of me and uh, Gabe whenever we went to Denver, um, right before. Well, I actually was pregnant. I didn't know I was pregnant. Okay, um, and these are all of my ultrasounds from um early to. Not so early in my pregnancy. Y'all, if I fall and I'm in the hospital, y'all know why. <laughs> my belly, 17 week belly. I'll turn to the other side. Oh, nope, I can't do that because y'all ain't gonna see as much and I'm not about to move this year. So, whew, y'all, I'm. this is so dangerous. Anything for y'all though, right? So, I'm out of breath. This is my belly, 17 weeks. And one day, like this, yeah. Yep, stretch marks from the last two. Mm hmm But uh, if y'all can see, my belly button has already protruded. So yeah, this is baby girl or baby boy. I wanted two. Y'all gonna find out. So that's all, y'all. I'm gonna I'm trying to start doing these updates now that I'm feeling much better, like every single month. So right now I'm four months. I'll be four and a half months next week. Um, my weeks turn over every Sunday. So, like, this past Sunday, I made 17 weeks. So, I probably will, like, besides the whole gender reveal and doctor's appointment update that I'm going to do this week, I'll do my next pregnancy update at five, at, uh, five months. So, that's going to be at probably, like... 21 weeks since I'm doing this. I want it to be four weeks from this um, video. So 17 weeks from now, 18, 19, 20, 21. So four weeks from now, I'll be 21 weeks, which means that will be five months. That's when y'all will see another pregnancy update for me. I'm gonna try to just start doing them while I will do them every month until I fucking deliver. And probably like in my ninth month, going on my 10th month, because I feel like, cause none of y'all, and by the way, none of my babies came early, like, my babies don't come early, I always have to get induced, so, I'm gonna try to stick it out, be a champ, and not get induced, and just let everything flow, so hopefully I don't go to 10 months pregnant, which is 40 plus weeks, um, so pray for me, y'all, and look, my Gucci can only do so much, okay, <laughs> so, yeah, um, next pregnancy update will be at 21 weeks, Y'all have any questions, um, if any of y'all are pregnant, y'all need advice, or y'all feel like I need some motherfucking advice, give a bitch some advice, because, like, it don't matter how many times you get pregnant, every pregnancy is different. I can always use some advice, tips, tricks, all that, okay? Uh, thank you so much for watching, y'all, and I'm gonna just see y'all in my next video. I love y'all so much, and I'm see y'all later. Bye! And I get a phone call from an unknown number, like a number that I've never, like, that I don't recognize. And I answer, and, um, 
it was a guy he was like hey um i'm the leasing manager or whatever for the apartments and um we just wanted to know if you were home because we had